account set up for your group. And this is an example. Um, you are going to want to go go to this little group of squares in the corner, and that will open up a list of menus for you. And uh, you, from that, you choose the icon for the calendar. Um, we know that uh, we know that we are in. We know that we are in our uh, members calendar here. Um, sometimes if, you, if you're working with multiple Gmail addresses, um, you can lose track of which one you're on. But we know that this is the one, the group that we want to make a um, calendar event for. So when I've clicked on that, here's the calendar that comes up. Um, I can see the events that are on here already. I can, uh, it gives me my, uh, my um, Monthly calendar, it tells me where I am today, um, tells me a few other things that are on here. Something to note about this one is your calendar is crazy flexible. And right now it's showing you a month version. You can make multiple different options for that, a week, a day, a schedule, four days. Um, go ahead and click on that. You can toggle back and forth between that pretty easily. You know, it kind of depends on the activity that you're doing what you want to look at. In, in our case right here, we are looking at the view of a month. Um, I'm going to want to click on the uh, plus here. That's how I add something to my calendar. And this opens up an event. Um, so this is what you're going to see on your screen. You can type in here. Um, so I've just started on this one. Um, the default is that it's going to be an all-day event. If you unclick this, then it will tell you the hours that you want it. Um, you can change the days. You can add a location. This is really kind of nice because your location um, corresponds to Google Maps. So if somebody looks at this on their phone, um, they don't need to retype in the address where you're going to. Um, uh, your phone will just... Uh, um, if you have Google Maps on your phone, um, it'll just launch that and uh, give person directions exactly where to go. Um, this is reminding us what calendar we're in. And uh, this is your area here that you add whatever text you may need. You can cut and paste from something else. Um, you have a little bit of editing option that you can make things. You've got some editing option here that you can um, attach a document, attach a link to someplace else, um, do bold or italics or underlining or bullets or numbers or whatever, whatever you're used to doing you have there. Um, if, uh, if you don't do anything, it just it goes on the calendar. If you want to specifically send it to people, you put them here, you know, for example, if uh, um, you've got five people that you want to meet ahead of a regular meeting. Um, you, can, uh, you can list them there individually. Um, because this is part of a specific Gmail address, it's going to be the contacts that are associated with that Gmail address. When you have it the way you like it, choose Save. So here's the details that I put into mine. Um, you can see that I've got some date, I've got a title for it, I've got some dates in here, I have a location. Um, this is an option that uh, you can have your device remind you, and you can change this between minutes and days, but um, a person will see that pop up. Um, in this case, I attached a document. I wrote in some text, and I'm not going to invite anybody um, because it's not that kind of event, it's just an awareness. Um, up here I've got more actions, that's a little bit more detailed, you probably don't need it, um, and always hit the save. All right. And what you're going to find then is that on the calendar, for the date and the time that I selected, I've got the event, and if a person were to click on it, 
they would get all the details that I saw that I uh, created in the original event. So that is how you add an event to your calendar.